you gone here and I'm back with another game and pickup video. So first of all, Retrovise just accidentally I met a guy who's been selling these Atari games and I just couldn't pass these two asteroids and space invaders. I really really enjoy Atari's cover artwork. I had this game built in my Atari 700 I got six or seven years ago with Joust and Ball Blazer and Space Invaders, absolute classics. Next, uh, Twisted Metal for PlayStation 3. It has a double cover. Never played this game before. I remember when the third and the fourth game came out. Uh, but for me that was always the second part in my opinion. It was the best one. I even remember playing it on France PC at about six or seven years at school or something. Ride the 1997 Twisted Metal 2 on PlayStation from Sony and let style be your weapon. This one I found after a couple of attempts online. Uh, not a cheap one in decent condition. Uh, I just decided to go for it after watching this new TV show Twisted Metal from PlayStation. And now I'm looking forward to trying this one out. So next, uh, Far Cry 6. I was just waiting for a good price. And the shop is awesome. They even put a piece of chocolate inside. So big thanks. Good crock. I bought this game together with Mafia Trilogy set. Again, I was waiting for prices to go down a little bit. And uh, my favorite is probably the second one. As for soundtrack, the third one is probably my favorite. I love playing to those songs like, you know, the latter from Box Tops, In a Gutter the Vida by I Am Butterfly, Green River and Born on the Bayou by Credence. That's just awesome. I was totally blown away by that soundtrack. So my favorite one is the second, but soundtrack is totally uh, it's the third one. Ghostbusters the video game remastered. One of the coolest franchises from our childhood. I love movies, both animated series were the subject of talk. Every weekend in the neighborhood, totally looking forward to playing this game, try this out, because I never did it before. Until Dawn, A Rush of Blood. This is my second copy, I guess. I can't remember if I gave it to one of my friends or just sold it to someone. This was, and rarely but still is, a go-to game when friends come to a house for a party. This is a very short but still enjoyable game for we are. Finally, Cuphead. So this is a 2022 edition. It has uh, some new secrets, new island, new challenges. Play as Miss Chalice, new bosses. I enjoy this package a lot, cause it has such a cool certificate membership card. It says, I hereby pledge to be a scarf head with colorful, animated, and when safe, open to a fantastical adventure or two, and by golly, always be yourself. The Cuphead Creed. It says that you are registered Cuphead Pal now, and the year is 1932. It also has, is it a poster or something? And it also has six Cuphead cards. So, pretty cool package, huh? The old cartoon wonder game. So, next. Moto Gamba. No. Uh, well, before jumping into the new one, I would like to tell you something about this. I own an American version of Mortal Kombat Mythology Sub-Zero and I was considering to get a European version because I have an MK3 and MK Trilogy uh, European version. MK3 is in a cardboard box and MK Trilogy is an early Japanese-like case. But I was shocked to find out how the price had skyrocketed. 
for a good condition full set with manual they ask like 185 bucks well no thank you can you freaking believe that and uh if you just want this game for your collection it's better to jump on american version it's twice cheaper than that it's more than twice cheaper than that find it in a while yeah so then um i also met one guy who made such a beautiful thing this is made of mdf which is a fiber board a sheet composite material which is like a tiny fine wood and he painted it like gold and black I appreciate your work so much man thank you and you rule with this So, now MK1. I was hoping to get this five days before the official release date on the 14th of September. Made my pre-order, but postal service brought me this the next day. So before I put my hands on this, I've already seen some unboxings from the guys I watch, from Uncanny Callus and Uncaged Games, all those awesome people. So by the time I filmed the unboxing, I was too busy playing the game and too lazy to edit, you know? <laughs> I enjoy seeing Liu Kane as a face of the covers. I enjoy seeing Liu Kane as a statue now that we have at least five scorpions and four sub zeros. And uh, this package is done so nice. I never see the collector's edition of such quality before. Steel books look just awesome. So this is the collector's edition steel book. So this is how it looks. More pictures inside. Here I've got those stickers from the box. It looks just awesome. This is a Liu Kang steel book from the GameStop. If you pre-ordered the game, it has a dragon logo inside. Also looks very cool. This franchise made us buy a new console again, which I used to do without. And it's like the fifth or sixth time, by the way. And the first thing I do is one classic tower. And then of course is a story mode where I jump in day one. Johnny Cage, Sonya Blade. First thing I loved was some pieces of music in this game, which was the reference to first game, first movie, you know, when you play the tea house. There is a reference to MK1, and when you fight Shane Song at the end, there is a reference to a theme from MK1, the movie. Then arenas, Wuxi Academy, the Tea House, they're just beautiful. Some storylines were totally fun and interesting. That's not about me to complain about anything in the game, because I respect creative people, I respect people who create something, and uh, that's just their thing they wanted to create. I'm just happy that MK lives on, still. 
after 30 plus years and I'm ready to support it like for all my life. So that was it. Thank you for watching. Enjoy your collection, enjoy your games. Happy hunting fellow collectors and see you next time. Take care. Walk away while you can. I'll never give up. Never surrender. <laughs> Round 